Hi, this is Scott from ChemTalk, chemistrytalk.org. Today we're going to perform one of my all-time favorite experiments, making elemental tin crystals. These tin crystals have stunning beauty that you have to see to appreciate. Unlike most people who make tin crystals, we don't use electrolysis. In fact, there are two secrets I discovered to getting great crystals that I will share in this video. At the end, I will show you a nice time lapse of the crystals forming. To do this experiment, you need tin chloride, sodium bisulfate, distilled water, and a piece of zinc. A thin rectangular zinc anode works best. Tin chloride, although not overly toxic, can harm the skin in the eyes, so wear goggles and wear gloves. You can purchase it online or you can easily make it by heating hydrochloric acid with tin metal for a few hours. Combine 12 grams of tin 2 chloride, 6 grams of sodium bisulfate, and 125 grams of distilled water. Mix the solution until everything dissolves. It will be very cloudy. Filter the solution through a coffee filter to remove some of the particulates. The solution should be much clearer now. Then, add the zinc metal and watch. We hung a 5 gram rectangular shaped pure zinc anode on a string. To hang the anode, I cut two small notches in the sides of the anode with a box cutter and tightly tied a piece of thread to the anode and the other end of the thread to a toothpick. Tin crystals were growing within seconds and within two hours our 125 millimeter Erlenmeyer flask was filled with crystals. Tin is below zinc in the activity series of metals and zinc easily reduces the tin 2 ions to elemental tin. The sodium bisulfate helps to maintain an acidic environment which prevents the tin 2 chloride from hydrolyzing and forming a precipitate of tin hydroxychloride. By the way, the Latin name for tin is stannum, which is why the atomic symbol for tin is SN. The first time we ran the experiment, after 24 hours the zinc was gone and the tin floated to the surface and coalesced into a mossy state. We call this tin mossy tin. We were able to drain the solution and pull the pure tin out of the flask. In the second run, the crystals have remained in solution for several weeks, allowing us to admire them each day. Most of them remain in a beautiful needle-like silvery metallic state. I have only seen this experiment mentioned a couple times online using a weaker solution. I use a more concentrated solution of tin chloride, which I think helped produce more dramatic crystals. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please subscribe and like the video. Please enjoy this one minute time lapse I filmed of the crystals forming.